Coverage on. On air, online, on mobile. Fox Toledo News at 6.30 starts right now. Pranking with potentially deadly results. Good evening, I'm Sean Hegarty. Here's the news for Tuesday, February 21st. Bowling Green police say they were alerted to a murder and the threat of a bomb in the city on Friday, but shortly found out the whole thing was a hoax. Fox Toledo's Allison Round is on the scene in BG with why police are sending a warning to people now. <laughs> Police tell me it's called swatting and it's no joke because they say if you get caught you are going to pay. What happens is that those officers when they respond to an incident like that they have to have some type of a mindset that would prepare them to deal with what they're going to come upon. That's just one of the reasons why getting a prank 911 call like BGPD did on Friday evening frustrates and scares Lieutenant Brad Biller. He says whoever called in with false information about a murder and potential bomb situation just after 6.30 is definitely playing with fire. He says the person directed police to an address on Blue Jay Drive. Our officers responded to uh, the premises, activated the SRT, the Wood County SRT. Uh, in the process of that, they identified that there wasn't any kind of an emergency going on at the residence that they were initially dispatched to. What we found out later was that it was all a prank, so to speak, uh, and that someone had, through anonymous means, uh, made that 911 call. The biggest problem for the public is that it redirects a lot of those resources that would in my estimation, be better spent someplace else providing for public safety. And it's tough because Biller says he's heard of this happening to other departments across the country. Sometimes people make computer calls without ever having their own information revealed. There are even videos of teens doing this on the internet, but cops say it's not worth the trouble you're going to get into if you do it. Now, BG police tell me they are still trying to track down the suspects in this weekend's incident. On the scene in Bowling Green, Allison Brown, Fox, Toledo News.